So here I am in Guilin, China. This is the Golden Oreo Hotel, which I'm staying at for three days. Three nights, or four days actually. And right across the road from it is the river. It's really early. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Hazy morning. Couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd come out and see what I could see. It's my first morning here. Took the bullet train yesterday. Can't really see a lot of the river through the trees here. But uh, I'm just going to kind of walk along and see what I can see. A couple of travel tips here for anybody watching this. Some rookie mistakes I made yesterday. Well, actually one I made. The other one kind of came my way inadvertently. So I'd gone online to booking.com and found this hotel. Had a lot of great reviews and it's close to a lot of the sites. Like I said, the river's right here, so it's a great location. It's a good hotel, good price. And I um, actually got it on booking.com. Agoda is another great site for, for traveling around Asia. I used that almost extensively last year. Um, but anyway, I was all set. I had my... I had the address of the hotel, the phone number, my confirmation number. It was good to go. So I get off the train and I have to catch a cab to get to the hotel. There and I run into my, my first problem, which is nobody here, almost nobody speaks English, and certainly the taxi drivers didn't. And so now I get into a taxi. He doesn't understand a word that I'm saying when I'm telling him the Golden Oriole Hotel. The phone number, for some reason, wouldn't work on the iPhone that I've been lent while I'm here in China. Uh, I don't know if I had too many digits, but it couldn't get through to the hotel. And so, there I was stuck. This guy was kind enough. He was trying to get me to get out of the cab at one point so he could get somebody who knew where the heck he was going and would actually pay him to go somewhere. So finally, I, I had to be resourceful. I know a couple of people here in China. I called. One of them got no answer. The other one, she was at work, pulled her out of a meeting, got her to talk to this guy. I uh, gave her the number to the hotel. She had to call them, figure out exactly where they were and what their name was in Chinese. And then she called back and handed the phone to the taxi driver. And then it worked out fine. He got me there. Maybe a 12 minute taxi ride, costing all of a dollar and 10 cents. Which amazes me the uh, how inexpensive taxis are over here because fuel is not cheap. So uh, that's the tip if you're traveling somewhere where English is not spoken very much, make sure you have in writing in Chinese in this case the destination, your hotel where you're at, so the taxi guy can get there. Otherwise, you're going to be scrambling like I was. So that's the travel tip for this morning here in Guilin, China.